Hello and welcome to New Hope Birmingham's Bangladeshi Urban and Rural Heritage Stories and Games Project, which has been supported and funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. This film is all about games, and we hope that you might like to play the games which we will learn about with your own family and friends. These traditional games are played in Bangladesh, which is over 4,700 miles away from the United Kingdom. The games have been played over many years, passing down through families from grandparents to grandchildren. And we have been discovering how to play these games and meeting some of the people who played these games in Bangladesh, who now live in the UK in Birmingham. So let's meet some of those people and hear about their stories of playing games. Zarwa Devnaro, Ami, Ola, cricket Kalamra is Tadu Baragi, and the Uwaya Nokita Hornama, friend at Takita was a Naroma, the Aroke Bolumaridise, a friend at a Bolhoya Maramaridis, Manava de Mata Arkita Logoya before he is. My name is Madullah Munchodri, I am born in Bangladesh district Mulu Bazar, nineteen sixty eight. So, <clears throat> I'm grown here and coming to this continent in 2001. Uh, marriage purpose. Uh, my childhood is very nice. I grown in tea garden. There are, everything is similar like this country. Half hospital, flower garden, tea garden, bungalow. This everything is perfectly nice and systematic. So there is lots of playing fields. And I have lots of uh, friends, similar age in the time. Uh, lots of games, football. How to do, do Latin, Marbell, Bengali names, lots of Bengali names played in the Kanamachi, uh, swimming in the pond. Uh, but no rural regulation that, in that time. Any time playing, any times. So, <coughs> uh, local school is there. We are go to school. Everybody in the morning time we are going to the local mosque to the learning for Arabic. Then one and a half hour after come back the home and ready to go for the school. And then come back the three and a half o'clock return the home. And evening time we are playing all friends and our front of home in the playing area. To Hono Yam Yapna Kinchi, my friend of Ola Seal, of Nal Shahana Seal, Sherwana Seal, Derbade of Nal Shabula Seal, Bokula Seal, Lab Botas Labner. Talo is like, especially I'm right, Joseph of Nal Dukanet has it, and that I'm not. The wood of Nal were a cream to lavish his own. I mean, I checked everything in Dubai, 
लगे एक नम्बर हलो लुडो लुडो तो खेली खेली प्रोग्राम हम राखी ओ खेला खेला मैं आईटेम एक आईटेम रखा है लुडो टा कि दिन आगे एक जो बांगलेश कलचार कलचारे सोसाइटी एक प्रोग्राम कर लम ईद ईद पुनर्मिलन ओखने लुडो टा बिराट बड़ा बांगलेश बिराट बड़ो एकदम प्राय दस फिट दस फिट बारो फिटर मत ये आसलेश लुडो ओ दाड़े दाड़े खेलते हैं सप लुडो ओटा नहीं खेला खेल अने खूब इंटरेस्ट हो एगिए आस खेल मैं सब बांगाल बड़ो छोटो वयस्क सबा खेल ये एक खेला और छोटो बल्ला क्राम खेलत लुडो लुडो खेलत हलो लाटिम डांगुटी डांगुटी एक खेला आसे लाटिमर साथ ही डांगुटी खेलत लाटिम खेलत लाटिम तो भलो लगत जदिव सबाई बोलत आए तु कि मानुष जो तु लाटिम खेलिस ऐला लाटिम खेले तपर दलटाते सब ऐले मे मिलानो छो तो सबाई मिले मिले खेलत लाटिम तपर एखे लाटिम अवश्य खेल एखो तब यही खेल अपनर ओ लुडोटा खेला हो हाँ लुडो मार्बल सात चारा मार्बल सात चारा तर सात चारा तो भाव चारा टा के छुड़े मेरे खेला है और हलो मार्बल हलो मार्बलो तई से नीचे फ्लोर मध्य मार्बल खेलत मार्बलरों कि नाम आपनर चुई डाग्गी एगू ए बोझे ना चुई डाग्गी छोटो एकदम अनेक छोटो छोटो जगह हलो चुई छिल नाम और बड़ो सब चे बड़ो मार्बलगुल्ला जो ओगुला छो हलो आप नाम दिए डाग्गी तो वो बोलत जो आई तुम को मारबा एख मार्बल खेलाते को मारबा चुई मारबा ना कि डाग्गी मारबा ए रखम बला हतो तो यूला खूब इन्जय करतम तपर क्राम खेलते स्कूले कैक बार क्राम खेलाते उनार हो पर तीन बचर ही चतुर्थ बचरे हमारे एकटू सामान्य इसे भूल पाई तो खिलागला खूब मन पड़े और क्रेम खेला तो प्राय समय क्रेम खेलना क्रेम खेला बेसिभाग आस्तान रमजान मास खेल रमजान मास खेल रमजान मास फोतार टाइम लगी उमका खेल उमका फोतार टाइम फोता खाई तो कत दिन मजो गेसिना मज मिस कर लागिया कत दिन क्रेम गुटी दिए इटा इटी कर मारा मारी कर Now let's learn about some of the traditional Bangladeshi games and learn how to play them. Ludo is an indoor game played in Bangladesh, traditionally played on a mat or on a bed. The game is said to have come from Asia and brought over by both English and Indian people to the UK. To play Ludo, you need a Ludo board, a minimum of two players, who each need a set of four tokens and a dice. Ludo is played on a colourful board and can be played with between two and four players, who each have four coloured tokens. The aim of this game is to race your four tokens from your starting square to finish to win the game. using a dice to move around the board with each player taking it in turns this is an exciting game which can be played with people of all ages but keep watching your opponents or they may beat you to the finish latim which is often called a wooden spinning top game is a popular outdoor game in bangladesh often played in rural areas which is an area much like the countryside in the uk 
Traditionally, this game could be played with a group of players, although you could just play on your own. All you need for this game is plenty of floor space, a wooden top to spin, and a cotton or a string whip tied to a stick. The aim of this game is all about skill. Use the whip string and wind this around the spinning top and then pull the whip string away as quickly as you can to spin the top around. The aim of this game is to keep the spinning top spinning. If you play with a group, you could see how long you could keep the top spinning. This game is a lot of fun and one you can play on your own or with a group of friends, but be careful not to knock anything over. So it's best to find plenty of space and outside is always best. Marbles is a very popular game in Bangladesh and with many other children and young people all over the world. You can play this game in small groups of two or more players. All you need for this game is a smooth ground surface and a set of marbles. The aim of this game is to win the marbles off the other players by rolling or throwing your marbles to make contact with the other player's marbles. There are all types of ways to play this game, but traditionally in Bangladesh, you make a small hole and aim to throw your marble to hit the spot. You can play this game with groups of friends and you can enjoy collecting all different types of marbles, which come in many different colors and looks. Just be careful not to throw your marbles too much, otherwise you'll miss the target and other players will win your marbles. Seven Tiles has always been a very popular game with children and young people in Bangladesh. For this game, you will need a small soft ball, like a tennis or a rubber ball, and seven flat square shaped tiles. But you will need to build a small tower out of the seven tiles or stones. Each team will need their own tower. The aim of this game is twofold. You need to aim to knock over the other team's tower by throwing the ball at the tower to knock it over. If your team's tower is knocked over, then you need to try to rebuild your tower as quickly as possible. The team who knocked over the tower need to try to throw the ball at the other players whilst they are rebuilding the tower. If you were hit by the ball when you are rebuilding your tower, then you are out of the game. Carom. This game needs a minimum of two players but you can play with up to four players. You will need a tabletop to place the carom board upon. You will also need some carom pieces, which are like small plastic coins, nine white, nine black, with a piece for a queen and a further piece to be used as a striker. The aim of this game is simple. You use your fingers to flick a striker piece to move the other pieces around the board flicking the pieces into one of the four pockets on the board. Each player continues their go if they hit a piece into one of the pockets. If you fail to get a piece into a pocket on your go, then the striker passes to another player for their go, and so on. The player who pockets the most pieces is the winner, but to win, you also need to pocket the queen piece, which is usually red coloured. This is a game of skill and can be played almost anywhere with friends or family of nearly any age, and you could even play it in teams, so practice will make you a more skillful player. You can learn to play all of our traditional games and find out more detailed instructions for each of the games, which can be found in the games booklet which accompanies this film. So enjoy the games with your family and your friends and have fun. Now let's meet some more people who have been involved in the project. Um, I was born in Bangladesh and I came here when I was about two or three years old and um, like basically my parents were born in Bangladesh as well so I hear a lot of stories about um, how they were as children and how they used to always play and they used to never um, be inside the house they were always out playing with their friends and then playing um, traditional games such as like Karam and Ludu and then basically, um, I just l I love hearing stories about um, those like times because nowadays it's um, all about uh, it's all about social media and it's quite um, sad because I was born there and the fact that I don't know anything about um, how my parents were brought up um, is really sad because um, the next generation won't know anything about it. 
my background, I was born, brought up, and educated in Bangladesh. It's a um, rural part of Bangladesh, not this uh, east part of uh, Bangladesh. It's called District Silet. I was uh, educated locally in my village home. I did my uh, primary education. And then I went to uh, the secondary school from my house to three miles every day, uh, every morning, to work three miles, go to the secondary school, and another three miles back to come to the home again every day. And I have completed my uh, secondary school, like GCSE, finished, then I like ad admitted into the six from college, like um, say five miles from my home. And that time we used transport and Bangladesh uh, communication system is the then time is improving. After uh, my complete my bachelor degree, I have uh, been in Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh and I took admission for the Master of Commerce. And I did my Master's of Commerce from uh, University of Dhaka. By this time, I got the job in the International Bank. It's called uh, IFIC. I think projects like this one run by New Hope Birmingham are crucial in helping to broaden our knowledge of each other and through knowledge and understanding we can have more respect for each other and it need, means that we can reach out and recognize that wherever we may have come from or wherever our ancestors may have come from whatever our color our class our creed or whatever beliefs that we have that we actually have something very very important in common the shared space that we have in birmingham as citizens of this city so that we need to be proud of our heritage but also proud that we are Brummies as well. Um, playing um, simple games such as those like, enables you to um, be able to interact with your family members and then other people and then you all, all have something in common. Yes, it is a uh, fantastic um, experience uh, because uh, I was the um, youngest child of my family and my mother and father, they did not uh, bother me to go for school. And every day, most of the time, I have uh, some childhood friend. And I was engaged in um, uh, Kerem, Ludu, and especially Marbles. And most of the day, we passed in the outside of our house. Uh, my mother or parents or elder brother, they did not uh, look at the hiding place. We, all day we spend, we never, uh, most of the days is students in this school. And one day my teacher uh, told me um, there no need to come in this school because you will not qualify for the uh, GCSE uh, exam. But with games like this, everyone, like, there's such general games that everyone can get involved and there are games where you don't have to, um, you don't have to necessarily feel like with the odd one out or anything. Yes, it is most important uh, because most of the uh, Bangladeshi people, those who born brought up in Bangladesh, we miss that sort of game. Um, so basically, um, after playing Karam, I actually really enjoyed it. So. Um, after at like um at my auntie's house and um, they just they had a carrom board too so basically um, we all decided to um try and uh play together and see who'd win and then like i came second but it was good enough for me because it was at my second go okay. um i played with my friend and then i played with my uncle and then yeah but um after Later on, I played with like my aunties and then my uncles, and then yeah. Oh, um, my friend, and then um, also um, Marufanko, he's my uncle, and then um, my little sister and her little brother.
every evening when we come back from the school, we played um, uh, football, hadududu, kerem, uh, as well as uh, latim. And I was a very expert in latim game and marvel game. Most of my uh, time spent at those sort of games. And that's why uh, um, our, my parents and my elder brother, they, most of the time they keep an eye on uh, what I am doing. Um, so I've got quite a lot of aunties and um, so basically we used to, we had a really big family back there so um, they used to play, um, we used to play board games all the time. I actually went back um, this summer and um, we basically stayed up until two playing a lot of um, the board games like Karim and then um, also like chess and stuff but like it's really fun yeah. I think it's very important that the stories and games of the Bangladeshi people of Birmingham, particularly those from Silet who make up the great majority of Bangladeshi in Birmingham, are passed on so that second, third and future generations of Brummies who have Bangladeshi heritage understand more about their past and where their ancestors came from. We hope you have enjoyed learning about the Games Project. Many people have come together as a community to take part in this exciting project and in the making of this film. Grandparents, parents, grandchildren, aunts, cousins, uncles, brothers and sisters have all learnt about the traditions of Bangladeshi games and how to play them with their own families and friends. New Hope Birmingham and the Heritage Lottery Fund have brought these games back into the communities of Birmingham, saving these games from being lost forever and so new generations can enjoy playing traditional Bangladeshi games and tell their own stories of playing games for many more years to come. We very much hope you will join them too. Thank you for watching and thank you to our volunteers and the Heritage Lottery Fund for their support.